So there was one big question bothering humanity since the beginning of time. Can you create a website just using PowerPoint? Well my friends, let's find it out in this video. Okay my friends, so I have created this animated PowerPoint presentation that looks like a website. It has a clickable menu at the top, a couple of sections, some clickable buttons, animations and a parallax scroll effect. And the PowerPoint version that I'm using is PowerPoint Microsoft 365. And now the question is, how do we actually turn this presentation into a website? And by the way, if you'd like to learn how to design these animated slides, please check out this video. And now let's continue with turning these slides into a website. Okay, so first of all, let's just locate our presentation. Let's left click on it. Let's go to OneDrive and let's click on View Online. And now we can see our slides online. That's super awesome. Next, let's go to File, let's click on Share and let's click on Embed. And now PowerPoint will generate an embed code that we can use to insert this presentation into any website. Let's not worry about the dimensions for now. So let's make sure that we copy the code and let's jump into any website editor that you have. I'm using Wix for my website, so I'll show you how to do it with Wix. And I'm sure the process would be similar if you are using WordPress, Squarespace or any other website editor. So let's just insert a blank new page. Let's name it for example PPT Web. Let me hide it from the main menu and let's apply a no header layout so that we have a completely blank page. By the way, if you'd like to start using Wix as well, check out my affiliate link in the video description. No additional cost to you and it helps to support the channel. Alright, so now all that we can see is this blank section where we will be embedding the PowerPoint code. And let's just make this section a little bit higher, for example 900 pixels. Ok, and now let's just click on this little link, add elements and let's look for embed HTML. Let's click on it. And now we can paste in our PowerPoint embed code. Let's click on update and as you can see we get a preview of our presentation, but it's super small. We can grab the corners of this little window and stretch it out, but it still doesn't look right. So let's go into the code and let's change the height and width to 100%. Let's update once again and let's resize this PowerPoint window to 1545 pixels for the width and 900 pixels for the height. And let's align it to the center. By the way, the background music that I'm using is from Artlist. Check them out and never worry about finding the right music, sound effects or b-rolls for your awesome videos again. Link is in the video description. And now let's just set the website background color to black. Alright, so let's click on publish and let's give it a preview. Alright, so this is my homepage pptskill.com. Let's just type in slash and let's type in pptweb. Skadoosh my friends, here is our beautiful PowerPoint website, let's check it out. Alright, so it looks like the menu buttons are working, the parallax animation is working, that's super awesome. And these tutorial slides are absolutely free my friends, so once I'm finished for this video I will attach a download link to this button, which currently links to my YouTube page. Let's check out if these social links are working as well and if you are not following me on Instagram and TikTok, feel free to do so. However, my friends, not everything is perfect when choosing PowerPoint as your website solution. As you can see, if we try going directly from features to context, the transition doesn't look right. We could fix that by applying a simple fade transition to all of the slides, but I really like that parallax effect, so I'll keep the morph transition. Another problem is website responsiveness, I'm almost afraid to look how this website looks on a mobile. But hey, now you know how you can turn your presentation into a website. So is it possible to create websites using just PowerPoint? Yes. But should you do it? Of course you should do it, this channel is all about PowerPoint, I always say yes to PowerPoint. And as I mentioned before, if you would like to learn how to design this type of slides, check out this video.